What is antibiotic resistance? So fungi or molds have been producing antibiotics in the soil for millions of years. You ask yourself the question, how come they haven't killed all the bacteria? Well, the answer to that is in a term called mutation. Let me try to explain what that means. When bacteria reproduce, or when anything reproduces, there's a chance that the reproduction will not be perfect. And bacteria make a lot of mistakes. They make little mistakes in their genetic code or their DNA sequence, and that's what's called a mutation. Most of these mutations don't amount to anything. They don't give the bacteria any advantage or disadvantage. But once in a while, one of these tiny little changes that we call a mutation gives the bacteria a characteristic that allows it to be resistant to some antibiotic. For over the millions of years, this has become pretty sophisticated. Bacteria have learned how to transfer these antibiotic resistance characteristics from bacteria to bacteria. They've also become resistant to multiple antibiotics and they can transfer that from bacteria to bacteria. So this, over this long period of time, what has happened is the fungi have been producing antibiotics and the bacteria have been developing ways to become resistant. It's a very, very, very old story. It's been going on for ages. So that's why today when a new antibiotic comes on the market, it's not really very long before we start hearing reports about resistance to that antibiotic. And the reason is, is the bacteria are already equipped to do that. <music>